Hey everyone, this is Ryan here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a few ways of how to fix FaceTime on iOS 15 if it's giving you some trouble. There's a few ways and a few approaches we can have to fix this on uh, the newest update. So let's get started. All right, so like I said before, you want to make sure that you are on iOS 15 if your FaceTime is giving you trouble. So go to settings, make sure you go to general and then software update. And just double check here, It's it looks like I can download iOS 15.3. So um, the thing that you wanna do is always make sure that you, the latest um, update is that is available is downloaded because sometimes uh, FaceTime will have bugs or things that need to be fixed. So what you would do here is just download and install the latest update. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is one way that you're able to fix FaceTime issues. So. The second way is a pretty classic, which is you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi and cellular connection is all good to go. So I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi, turn it off, wait about 15 seconds, and then turn it back on. And just make sure that it's working, make sure I'm getting um, signal and that's not giving me any issues. If I press info, it seems to be doing okay. And the same with cellular, I'm gonna to go to cellular and make sure my cellular data is on. All right, great. All right, so now that that is done, what you wanna do is check your FaceTime settings. So what you're gonna do is go down, once you're in settings, to the FaceTime app. and make sure that there's a correct phone number and ID on um, where it says you can be reached by FaceTime at so-and-so. If there's not a correct phone number or ID, what you're gonna wanna do is sign out. Um, and the reason you wanna sign, sign out is because then you can actually be called at the correct number. But it looks like my phone number right here is correct. So that all looks good. But say you do need to sign out, what you want to do is select where it says Apple ID and then select sign out. Now once you've done that, you're going to select the button that says use your Apple ID for FaceTime. So select that and then sign in. All right, so we should be all set there. Now. The last thing that you can do is um, beyond signing in, signing out, and checking that your Apple ID is correct, is make sure that you check on Apple's website to see if FaceTime is available in your country. So what you can do is go to Apple's website and make sure that FaceTime is available in your country. So what you can do is type in FaceTime country availability. So if you go to support.apple.com here where I just Google it and select one of these links that will take you to this page here and it says wireless carrier support for features in iPhone, United States and Canada. Now you can select any of these areas and see um, if what's available to you based on your region. And if you're in a region where FaceTime isn't available, there might be an opportunity to use a VPN um, essentially on your device to still use FaceTime in your area. But this has kind of just been the basic ways of how to, how to troubleshoot and fix FaceTime on iOS 15. Hope this was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe.